Welcome to the Yak. It's firing day. <laughs> ah, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Thank <laughs> James. Oh. Hey, all right. Ooh. Oh, God. I'm just, yeah, I'm just kidding. Not built for this. Um, kidding. row back. Yeah, yeah. you got to get that row back. Got to get the row back. Incredible hats. Uh, it's 4th of July. No company has a more patriotic natural colorway than Roback. I just saw the dog logo and I just had like my instinct was to nod. Nod, yeah. I it, saw one in Penn Station, a guy that he looked very handsome and I did. I instinctively was like, "Hey, just give a little." Yeah. Some guys are Roback guys. They don't even know it yet. They need to right. un unlock that in themselves. Yeah. Unleash the Roback in you. Uh quarter zips, hoodies, polos, shorts, pants. I could go on forever, but you can go to Roback.com. Use code YAK for 20% off your first purchase. It's as simple as that. Roback, they got you covered. Shout out to Roback. Shout out Roback. Good to see you guys. What's just going on? Fun see week, ya. Fun week of, of yakking. I don't know about you guys, but I've just been dumping out shows for in, in anticipation of uh, not being in the office next week. Yeah, yeah we actually had you on anus. Yeah, we've been talking. We all have been talking so much. It's been great. Yeah, we've been talking too much. Yeah. It feels like a today much. feels like a Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> not even a Friday. Not even a Friday. It feels like a whole last Saturday. Big Cat better come in with some fucking stories tomorrow. Yeah, I've heard. Be able heard to there is. Have you? Yeah. Well, you you're in the same group chat. Tensions mm -hmm. have been rising things. at the golf tournament. Oh really? I've, I've someone someone may have. Drew tears. Somebody brought somebody else to tears. Shut the fuck up. Hey, oh, I I've been the it, crop yeah. of people there. You can probably guess who it was who made who cry. Yeah. Francis Cry. You have a gift for it. A gift. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. guessing. I'm, <laughs> I'm just guessing. Wait, has someone as one of these people made you cry? No. no. Who's made you? Oh, no, cry no, I sit, uh, I sit, no, no, no. They made you weep. weep I think. You were things. weeping in those Bob tears. Ball, more of a ball. Yeah. No, no. I accidentally I walked over to Kate to see if she was all right, and a tear hit my arm. Welt. They, oh no! They were <laughs> like hail. They were Why? falling. Softball sized tears. Sideways like cow. rain. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't yes. thunderstorm like it used to. Yeah, it does. It really does. I, yeah, it does. I remember in our childhood, in mine at least, it was it was a yeah. pretty regular occurrence. I miss the power going out. Pr like huge thunderstorm. We used to go to the basement like a couple times a hail, summer. Yeah. In Pennsylvania. Yeah, good. power doesn't really go out anymore either. You're yeah. right. I don't know. Is that better power, or we just don't notice it as much? Because I ain't reading books. I'm not over there mm -hmm. like fucking cracking a book by a candle or anything in the daytime. No. It couldn't be me. My mom used to be like, "Get out of the shower. Storm's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you might get wet." Yeah. Well, no, that was the lightning comes through the shower. Was yeah, the you'll die. urban legend? What? My mom yeah. didn't let me shower during storms either. Yeah. I don't, I don't recall that. Me neither. That's oh, yeah, I do. I swear. Oh, that my mom wouldn't let me shower. I had to take a bath until eighth grade. What? <laughs> yeah, she would draw it for me. No Wait, way. Would she fill it up real, real, like a tiny amount? Yeah, she would uh, save the yep. water. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it draw? Why is it draw a bath? Draw me a bath. I don't know. Why is that the word? Yeah. It doesn't make a lick of sense. You, we're drawing tears. We're drawing baths. This show is drawn as hell. Draw blood. In is it a liquid thing? Yeah, maybe. Draw something out. I don't know. Take a draw from a straw. Southern draw. It's a draw. And you take a drag from a cigarette. A drag. Uh, so you drag smoke and you draw liquid. Get, you the, do say, get the cigarettes out of your mouth. It's not. It, it is. It does look cool, but yes. you look. You're ridiculous. You don't. You're not enjoying it. Hey, I see, do you I see advocate for the cigarettes? I see. You are no. You're a real smoker. I see some yeah. fake smokers. What do you mean? Oh, like, like over while, at the fashion yeah, institute. And like nice clothes. Like, yeah. Get out. You of are a real smoker. You and Riggs, when I came in for my interview for Barstool Sports. We're smoking out front when I walked in. Riggs? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you're lying. Oh, no, no. Don't she lie on Riggs. The smoke into Riggs' <laughs> mouth. <laughs> uh, no, no. You guys were both smoking. We were. Probably. Really? I didn't know Riggs was a bogeyman. I used to smoke so much I would start hiding like around the corner because I didn't want people to think I wasn't working enough. That's so hilarious. I smoke like half the day. Well, uh, smoking is like the number one age-old excuse to not be working like yeah. i'm taking a smoke break that's like i think part of the gig yeah, yeah. i feel like people uh who don't smoke m might have even taken up smoking just so they could get the break every how often half an hour hour 
that's in the military they called them smoke break. like you'd be in a long class something like everybody smoke break and that was like your only time to get, so everybody smoked so you could just go outside and have right. a reason to like do something for a second and were they like by law required to give you smoke breaks probably probably yeah you had and you awesome. had to smoke a minimum of three cigs a day they probably used to like smoke in the senate yes they probably were just chief in, in the on the supreme court they did, I think John Boehner still smoked in his office till like yeah. the very end. Obama a still ripping cigs. Yeah, yeah. He's He's gotta be. Linda sure. Tripp around the clock. Yeah, I got to start. They caught the Obamas on vacation, and they just like folded their arms and stared at the paparazzi, super angry. Oh, no. funny way to do it. But I feel like that would be the time when they would catch him huffing down a cig. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to be in the public spotlight, don't run for fucking president. <laughs> And win. True. Twice. <laughs> he has to smoke oh inside. You took a picture of me on vacation. <laughs> we're <laughs> president <laughs> twice. Dude. <laughs> Want to snap a pic. You ran it back. Yeah, their vacation should only be in places that only they can be. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like Bohemian Grove. As soon as you. Ah, poor as soon Sasha, as you though. Like, she should be able to go places. Yeah, she can't she even ask drop her. acid at Coachella. Yeah, she can't even snort a gator tail without people watching. Or was that the other? Oh, that was Malia. I don't know the two. I feel mean, like Malia. if you're a run for a major political office and you have teenagers, you kind of hate your kids a little bit. Like, oh, they're always it's yeah. Like the war. Like I remember when Chelsea Clinton like went through puberty while like she was just so. I just felt so bad for her. Hunter's life. still in his rambunctious he's phase. Still, yeah, he's still <laughs> in puberty. He's still going through it. Fucking hate you, Dad. <laughs> Hitting the rocks. Yeah. yeah, it is. Uh, it it shows that you love your kid like. Or you love yourself exponentially more, yeah. more, yes, than, your more than your kid. You yeah, haven't. Yeah. There's no been no transfer of love. It's kind of like children. worse. You're more than mad like at your Gronk kid for situation. You pretty much just ruin your kid's life in many ways. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Best case scenario, they're on an ABC show, getting kicked off night one, throwing a temper tantrum because they didn't get enough screen time. Mm-hmm. Best case scenario. Freddie Ford was pretty chill though. Is that Gerald's yeah, son? Oh. Yeah. No one knows much about him. Oh. <laughs> Because Gerald Ford never got elected. That's why. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Because he fell ass backwards. I actually didn't know that. He never got he elected got vice in. or pres. Oh, he was after Nixon? Yeah, he was just... Oh, was a sporkle answer. We learned this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. He was that just makes sense. Stumbling into the fucking White House. So his sons never knew... Like, his his their dad wasn't, like, on yeah. the circuit. They weren't getting All ripped right. up. Yeah. But, I mean, fucking... TikToks around back then. Yeah. You know, Freddie Ford is f- Freddie mm-hmm. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Bad news for the kid. What about Millard Fillmore's kid? I can't, I can't he would have, like, a sex know. tape leak. <laughs> <laughs> what was his kid's name? Do you think that he gave Ibrahim. him, like, a normal name? Or do you think that he, uh... Yeah, let's look it up. He probably, I heard some he probably didn't about, reproduce. Uh, you guys know, uh, he's one of Dave and t- Dave's interns, uh, Austin's little crony, Sam. Yeah, I know Sam. You know his real name? Amazing. Uh-uh. Bozo? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't joke. Um, <laughs> Sam's real name is Alfred. Alfred. Damn, this is big for the committee. Alfred Simpson Martin, and he got Sam by rearranging his initials. That's how Voldemort got his name. <laughs> what oh, the shit. fuck? Yeah. He got a Voldemort? At, he's Tom Riddle in and his and name? He's like, yeah, and he's acting like that's not a crazy way to choose a nickname. That's crazy. That's one guy abandoned Sam as his real name, and another guy just picked it up like the flag on a battlefield. Wow. Sam, Sam's the brains of this company. Yeah, he is. Yep. He's brilliant. And I'll say, I'll, I don't know if I would give an Alfred a chance on a resume. I see that name, and I think, I don't think young. You think he has a bow tie? Media. He has like a his name's fucking Alfred name. Simpson Martin the second. Yeah, I wouldn't be like, that's the guy who's going to really. Unreal. Going by Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do that. Can you? Is that what Fredo is based on, Alfred? I think you can go by Fredo. All, uh, Millard Fillmore Miller doesn't even Powers have a, Fillmore and Mary Abigail. He doesn't even have a Every personal woman was named life. Mary Abigail Millard Powers. back there. Miller His Powers. party was the what? The Know Nothing. Is that a... Is it, did they edit? Oh, I like that. No, that's a real party. I did think it was won? tongue-in-cheek. Damn, we need a tongue-in-cheek party. What yeah. the fuck? That's people allowed? Wow. People loved being fucked. Yeah, I didn't know his uh, political party is no nothing. Yeah. And he died in Buffalo. That's a place to die. That's where you got to die. Fell down Niagara Falls. He was, yeah, he went over in a barrel. Stop dying in Florida. Go die in Buffalo. <laughs> they need more. Their, their cemeteries are empty. They're barren. 
Yeah. This is a nice sense. park. Nah, man. This is a cemetery. There's just no one buried. Do we have him on? It's failing. It's I mean, we didn't, have, we didn't summon here. you by any means. I did. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, first of all, he's a back-to-back summer intern, and he's really coming to his own. He's gotten significantly cuter. That's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. What's your name? Sam. No, it's mm. fucking not, dude. dude what he's a tangled web we weave. When did you start? When did you start uh, going by something other than Alfred? The day I was born. Hold on. You, you, move it. I don't know how. You're to way it. smarter than that. <laughs> yeah. Sam. Hold on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna hold I just on. Called you the brain. He just tells him to hold on. <laughs> oh. and he can't figure out the headphones or the mic. Right, this going? is that Mr. Bean comedy I've been right, talking. We can yeah, start the episode. We can start doing. the show. You said, when did you start going by Sam? I didn't choose to go by Sam. It was my dad's decision. But my mom why did he na- why did he name you that then? I was named after my grandpa, Alfred. Oh. But he, they, but uh, there was a skip generation though. So are you still right. the second? That's yeah, how so it works. I learned that this morning. You, you can can't just pick claim. it up. You can yeah, you can pick junior. it up. Oh, so I c- well think about Queen Elizabeth. Is your grandfather named? Yeah, my dad is Frank Ferone the third. So I was going to be Frank Ferone the fourth, which was completely lost. That's a nice F F F. And so now I can name a kid Frank Ferone the fourth. Well, no, because by I Sam's think, rules. No, I think Sam's thing is he would be a junior if it was his dad that had the same name. But yes. since it was his grandpa, he goes to the second. And that would be my gra- it, Yeah, it would be my. My kid's grandfather, since it's my dad. Is that how this? Wait, you no, yeah. you you almost have to keep the chain of. Com- hmm. I don't fucking. You can know. do whatever you want, really. Yeah, you yeah, do. You, can. you yeah. fucking do. That's cool. I think that there is uh, an integral reason why uh, Nick calls you the brains of this company and why you're keeping this company alive, and that's because Austin bullies you and he's very mean to you. He threatens to fire you and, and he, sh- he shits on you. He's very snappy with you, and I, I think that you're the only person that gets yelled at even a little bit anymore in this company. Austin yeah. will yeah. text me and just be like, hey, I, need- I didn't even think about true? No, like, the only no person that gets shit him, on. And Austin is mean. There's no like uh, chain of like nasty command. It's just like soft, and everybody's getting facials. Like nobody's fucking barking at people, demanding more of people. Yeah. Austin demands more of you, and and uh, I think that that makes us a better company. Oh. Uh, Austin has fired Sam. Really? Yeah, he did. Fakely, <laughs> fake way. Austin, he, uh, go ahead. Austin also made me. He texts me he's like, "I need your help fucking with Sam." <laughs> Sam bought the same brand of toothpicks I use. And he was like, pretend like you're mad at him. Oh, the Trust me, ones? he'll believe it. And Sam did believe it. Damn. It was very convincing. <laughs> what did he say? He was like, he, he sent me a text and was like, don't say anything, but like, Nick's not happy. Like, <laughs> and Nick, he had Nick come over and like tap me on the shoulder. And I was like this. And Nick, I, I thought you had like a tear in your eye. And you were like. I was frustrated for sure. That's my brand. <laughs> of Wait, when Nick's yeah. not happy, he's not mad. He's sad. Yeah. yeah. No, but he, I mean, he it's played it well. He's like, can I talk to you? And I was like, oh. Fuck. And then I sent Austin a text. Oh, no, I was like, worked. hey, like, dude, I just feel like I can't have anything original without anybody stealing it at this fucking company. <laughs> and like the one thing I have and I really like doing, then he walks in and does it. And then Austin was like, I'll talk to him. And, <laughs> but and that's the type of elaborate like prank he'll play where it's like. Like, even when it's revealed, it's like, haha, like, that, I'm so, still scared. Like, he did fire you as a prank. Yeah, yeah. How? He, so my email, I couldn't log into my email. Um, and, well, I, I was. Is it oh, Alfred at barstoolsports.com? No, it's is Sam, that Sam Martin. Hit me oh, up. dude. <laughs> oh, you dumb, dumb. Oh, did I just dox him? Whatever. No, yes, oh, you're dude. Fine. And, you're shit. Fine. Um, hit him up, though. Uh, yeah, hit him up. Hit him up. Sign him up for shit. Hit him up. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I couldn't log into my email. Um, now, these email problems are probably going to be worse now. But um, <laughs> And I, I hit Austin up. I was like, hey, I can't like, get into Dropbox because my email doesn't work. And he was like, yeah, it's because you're fired. And I was like, oh, like, shit. And I left class. I was in class. I was like, why? Yeah. Would you cry? Oh, oh, I was just like class. bummed out. I was like, damn. So I stepped out. And like he was like, no, nah, like, it's just like down. And I was like, oh. So it was all good. He, the email was just down, and I like thought I got fired. I'm realizing that you might be dumb. You're not yeah. the brains. Of the <laughs> I mean, you need to start You're speaking really, eloquently. You're really dumb. You're making us look bad. Yeah, sorry. No, I, I, well, I owe Austin my life. I should say that as well. Yeah. So, um, I'm grateful he's my boss, but 
he definitely likes to uh, play around with me a little bit. He rules with an iron fist. We voted you into the Tungsten Club, and he put his foot down. And you can't join until what? I have to play taps on the bugle. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Are you learning it? How is that going? Horribly. <laughs> what, where is your bugle? I lost. <laughs> oh, my God. You lost your bugle. How do you lose a bugle? Where did you lose your bugle? Uh, I, that's, if I knew where I lost it, I would find it. But Jesus. Where did you have your bugle last? Uh, it was before the parade. Donnie was playing it. And I was like, oh, it's so hard to play taps on this. And then he started playing taps on it. And then Leave it to I haven't Donnie. seen it since. So. <laughs> what is it? Uh, is a bugle? I don't know what a bugle buttons? or a tap is. bugle has no buttons. It's essentially a kazoo. Yeah, it's how you <laughs> move you your mouth. just hum it. It's how you move your mouth on yeah, it. Yeah, it's all about, like, your mouth. Um, yeah, rather, than, like, rather than, There's like. Rather than, like. a bugle in here somewhere? Yes. Can you do it? I'd probably not, I but it's I. taps. That's when a soldier dies. How's it that go? sad song from? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, you can do it just fine without the bugle. <laughs> yeah. Can I? Do I have to use a bugle? Yes. Okay. That's Austin's rules. You don't want fired again. Yeah. You guys were doing funny ass shit without uh, cameras being around. I didn't realize that was an option. <laughs> the tungsten meetings are really fucking the funniest serious. things this company does. Yes. Damn, well, you can't get a camera on that. No. No, no, no. Can't get a camera on that. Or just, uh... We, had, mean, re- we, had, we had resources pooled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have this. You have the fucking phone. Um, did you... <laughs> wh- when you, uh, you brought Sam into a meeting, what did you guys talk about when you, like, tapped him about the toothpicks? Did you actually go and talk to him, or did you tell him right Broke. there? Broke. I couldn't do it, because he was like, <laughs> yeah, man, of course. And I was like, oh, okay, dude, I can't do this. Damn, I wish you really, uh, like, sat him down. Yeah. Brought him into E's office. I think I already got a different emails. thing today. You have yes, of course you got emails. Oh, I got so many. <laughs> <laughs> is that your work email? What are they His saying? His phone is just complete. Uh, Get on a mailing list this summer. You kick yak. it over to Sam. Give me a fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> As if I have the authority to do that. Uh, here you go, brother. You need it. What is? It's a link. Click the link, dude. Yeah, always yeah. click the link. It's rule number one. The rule number one of internet is click, click the, the link. link. Get You're not going to get to anywhere if you don't <laughs> click the link. It's called, oh, it's a name change application. They're on your ass. They're on your ass, Alfred. These yeah. motherfuckers are on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not good. <laughs> good. Got no pitch, bro. I saw some fifth graders playing uh, Turn Down for What on their recorders at graduation. <laughs> and it was really funny. It was awesome. <laughs> Where'd you see that? On TikTok. I thought in the wild. <laughs> yeah, that would be way <laughs> funny. At the upon in that. the street corner yeah. late Waiting at night. Two and a half hours of a graduation for them That'd to be end with amazing. that. That'd be sweet. Kind of be respectable. I wouldn't mind seeing it if we could find it. Um, dude, maybe Austin should be in charge of everything. Austin should. If he's gonna yell at people, like that's like maybe the most valuable thing. Austin, uh, he is the be. only dude in this office that yells at people. It has like any type of authority because coming from Papa yeah. Dave. Yeah. He uh, before I ever got my first text from Dave, I got a text from Austin that said, "Don't worry." And then I got a text from Dave oh, right sh- there. What was it? He invos- Dave inviting me to dinner. Uh uh-uh. uh Yeah. What? Yeah, the dinner that you didn't attend. Yeah, I told him I was I was too busy. I had to write jokes for a mini golf. Legendary dinner. Oh, in uh, twenty dollar tip branded dinner. twenty dollars. Oh, everyone, fuck, yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious that you had to write jokes for mini golf. <laughs> go to that. You work too hard, brother. No. Nah. I, I hope you do less in Chicago. Oh, I'm tr- put taking everything off my plate. Here we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm off the yak. <laughs> <laughs> Almost I'm just I'm just moving to Chicago. Just you like the weather, uh, yeah, or the climate. Sam, where do you attend uni, or are you done? I just graduated from Lehigh in uh, June. That's right. Yeah. Big cocaine uh, culture at Lehigh. Don't they have a really good Chinese restaurant? I feel like it's guys pretending uh, like Jasmine they're Chinese. pop partiers, but not Jasmine actually. Chinese. Jasmine Chinese. Yes. I, I don't know if that's renowned like that? though, but my friend Owen loves it. When I went there, I had a fucking delicious Jasmine Chinese meal. What were you doing at Lehigh? I don't even fucking remember. All I remember is Jasmine Chinese. That's really the only thing that I'm. I don't. Even, I was in a pagoda over there. I was in like a fucking round. Near building. Reading. I remember like a warehouse sports bar. Really. Club. 
Yeah. I almost went there. Bro and I talked to some people today. I, I think you and I are going to my old stomping grounds. No. Mm hmm. Westfa? Mm hmm. When? Uh, you'll, we'll, I'll talk to you about it. I don't know if it's official. What the fuck? Yeah. For what kind of thing? You and I, they just want to see you and I like hang out, have fun. Oh, because we're playing Penn State this year. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be fucking awesome. Hell yes. People are coming up with ideas. I fucking love it. It's probably Austin's smart ass. It's probably fucking Austin. It's probably Austin's genius ass. So I wish he'd yell at me. You're underneath Austin. Austin's directly underneath Dave. Austin is like the mouth of Sauron in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> exactly. Um, re- You guys get it. I have no, yeah. What is, y- are you full time? Mm-hmm. What's what's your end goal? Will Austin become Dave and you become Austin? Uh, I don't really thought about that. I just do whatever Austin tells me to do, and I think like if I do that well, then like success will follow. So whatever that is, who knows? But like the only thing I'm worried about is just not pissing off Austin at the moment. <laughs> so we've uh, never had Austin on the yak. We should one day. Where's he at? With he's, Dave. He's it's funny. like the devil yeah, wears he's, Prada. He scares me. It's like if you can survive a year under Miranda Priestley or whatever. You can do anything in fashion. Like That's if you can Prada. survive under Austin. You can do anything in the blogging. I'm worried that uh, you're too nice, though. Uh, I don't know. I've heard that a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't a very nice... Yeah, I hear that so much. <laughs> it's normally a girl voice saying it. <laughs> I just too feel nice. like uh, if, if like you... I feel like your future is... Uh, it got to be successful because you, you're coming from a great coaching tree, but I don't know if it's... The guy who yells at everybody. Yeah, I, I'm not good at yelling at people, but... You want to practice? See, the thing about, like, if I... Like, because you're right, I probably... In life, you need to know how to, like, you know, yell at people, but I think if I try to, it's just, like, comes off weird because it's just obvious I'm not good at it, and it's, like, makes everyone... It's your intonation. You have, like, a questioning intonation. You have an upward inflection as opposed to a downward. Yeah, inflection. it's an inquisitive thing, not uh, demanding. You guys think you, you guys... People should know how to yell at people. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's ever been valuable to me. I think projecting anger is important. Yeah, that is important. Why don't you start off by sending a mean, oh Christ, a mean email back to one of those people? Say it out loud. Say what you're going to say out loud and uh, practice with the downward inflection. Because okay. I don't think you don't. I don't think you need to yell at people. Someone email yeah. me, suck a fart. I'll respond. Oh. <laughs> you're not winning that battle. What are you going to say back to them? What are you going to say? Let's workshop um, this. You have comedy minds in here. Um, Listen here. So far, so good. Ooh. Listen here. Listen here. It's and then uh, something, a uh, name. Yeah. Listen here, like, listen here, d- uh, dork wad. I address them by shit. name. Oh, you were going to say their name? I'm not going to say their name, but I'll Oh, just their first name. It doesn't yeah, matter. their first name. Yeah. Amanda. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Amanda told you to suck a fart? I'm yeah. into this. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> You're nervous. <laughs> Girl, you got nervous. You got nervous. <laughs> You're getting hard, brother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> what do I say? Listen here, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. right, all right, all right. Now we're getting some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, that's not very appreciated. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so soft. That's a soft bitch way to energy, say it. Yeah, bitch. That's uh, not very appreciated. Like I- even closer. Like I don't appreciate that. You gotta make, you gotta make estimates about her. Some of her features. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Say she has cankles. Probably. Mm-hmm. It's uh, Amanda is a cankle name. Yeah. Say uh, she has like split ends or listen something. Listen here, butterface. Knock knees. Butterface. No, don't use that. What are girls self-conscious about? But but not. Uh, you can uh, you can plant whatever. Toothy and they smile. Will instantly become yeah, a gummy smile. smile. A gummy smile. Your eyebrows are too low. Yeah, that too. <laughs> And it's your too forehead's too high. <laughs> yeah. That's the hat. Uh, no, just say, listen here, bitch, you're fat. <laughs> yeah. On my work email? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, yes. shit. Who cares? <laughs> or, I, like, I don't know if you're fat, but you're coming across that way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to catch her by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> the woman who's watching yeah. enough to <laughs> 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 It's really... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I for- wait, I forgot this was a real person. No, 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 don't say that. Don't yeah, say don't that because it's your that. work email. Yeah, right. Well, I think. All right, just yeah, be nice to her. Just be nice. Listen here. Tell her she's probably right. Told him to suck a fart. <laughs> You're probably right. I'd probably I say where and when. No, no. 
Resentment. Now we're this we're getting Resent back to, fart, to the whole problem here is that I have trouble yelling at people. And I'm about to like text your thing. Why'd you pick you. a woman? Now you're setting yourself up. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, you chose no. a woman. Yell at a man. Right. Okay. Uh tell her your day will oh, come. Someone tell said her they, oh, that's not. What? Someone said they'd Venmo me if I can get Kate to say wiener three times. I want you to get paid. Wiener, wiener, wiener. Yeah, but it says this message seems dangerous in the in the top of the yeah, the, it's the wiener talk. Wiener, wiener, wiener. Yeah, you're oh, getting maybe. a bunch of outside work emails, and I don't know how they're going to stop. Yeah. Okay, this guy has, like, a professional. Oh, he's trying to sell me something. Never mind. Buy it, brother. <laughs> okay. Tell him his product sucks. Some of them are, these are kind of nice. A lot of people need to hear that their product and business do suck. Yeah, you're you're just co you're just sewing two, like, pieces together. <laughs> oh, is he coming on? Yeah. That's been a while. Or it's been never. Has he been on before? No, I don't think so. I think we're about to have a yakagami. I'm gonna get up oh, for this. Uh, I no, think no, so no, no. too, Kate. <laughs> There's room. There's Look room for both of you. Ebony, hello. hello. How we doing? Hi, how Grab are the mic, you? bro. What's Grab the mic. There? That, that one can even stand up taller. Grab the mic. Yeah. yeah. Sit down. Give us a 16. Yeah, give us some bars. Oh, Introduce mic. yourself. My name is Sparky D. What's up, Sparky? Uh -huh. I am trying to get it every day I can. Okay. Yes. Right, but I'm gonna sing about these girls. You know, I like them girls. Uh, yeah. you Wait, you have a song about <laughs> Ebony? <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't gonna sing, sing about these you, girls. I'm just gonna put it like this. All right. How's it go? I did the dance. Everybody, hold your hand. I did the dance. You know, I'm just a little old man. I did the dance. <laughs> Take my girl around the world tonight. I did the dance. I'm gonna kiss her every night. Hey. <laughs> I did, I did the dance. Everybody clap your hands. I did the dance. That's hey! hey! See, that's why we. Yeah. I love that. The talent that in this great. office never stops, bro. I hope you yep. get that contract. I was going to Erica's office. Yeah, time mm -hmm. to get it. There we go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh. Ricky D doing the dance. I appreciate hey. it, bro. Yeah. Y'all want one more? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Oh. You can raise it up. That's right. Oh, yeah, you can just hold on. Give me my money. Come what on. money? <laughs> I just shook my ass for you. Come on. Wait, you paid for Ebony <laughs> to shake her ass? Oh, Sparky D. <laughs> Sparky D. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, shit. He's out of here. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> he could have did one more. Could have did one more. Oh, Folks, just you just met our newest coworker. <laughs> Sparky D. <laughs> it's hiring day. <laughs> Sparky D. Damn, I can't believe that he just remixed the Monster Mash for us. <laughs> <laughs> he did that I dance. That sounded familiar. <laughs> <laughs> it was a graveyard smash. <laughs> she did the dance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, I can't believe what what a. What style is that? Is that <laughs> fucking doo-wop? What the hell was that? It was. I'm transported back in time. Damn, bro. Future of this company is bright, man. I'll tell you what. So bright we got to wear sunglasses, man. It's a fucking legend out there. Yeah, it's usually like rapping. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Trap that. Trap bars. That was that? You whitewashed it for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> he saw like, us and was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Monster oh. Mash might scare these fellas. <laughs> These hep cats. Who was at this match? <laughs> <laughs> My electrodes. <laughs> Look, that song is crazy. The song is so goofy. <laughs> he did the mash. <laughs> it was a graveyard smash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that voice kills me. That was like hard rock back then. Yeah. Well, yeah, what was that? What year was that? That was way <laughs> long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they thought it was the devil. <laughs> I think like that. There might be YouTube footage of me doing that at the Kent State ath <laughs> Athletics Talent Show because that's what we did every year. <laughs> you Flash. Did the what was that called? Mash. Monster Mash. Oh, yes. Bobby Pickett. Kent State. They did the mash. Wrestling. Cancel. Oh, album cancel. Oh, he was on the cancel there wave for a minute, bro. Damn. And the Crypt Kickers. Wow. Genre is popping. You know that he went on to do the voices for Saturday Night Live. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no, but it's the same sounding it voice, is. isn't it? Is. it? Yep. Imagine doing that and just be like, I want to be a singer. Tower and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck. The goddamn monster mash guy. Uh, 
That's you. Send it to the. Uh, uh, I don't want to hear it, bro. I want to uh, see it. Uh, Kick it over to the. To the uh, to the group. Yeah. Do you wait? Do you have footage of you at the? Nah, never. never. It was a graveyard smash. Damn, unbelievable stuff. That guy is usually rapping and sometimes yeah. spitting. He gave me a yeah. mixtape. To the. Uh, he likes the cleaning staff. Don't tell yeah. you what. He gives them a lot of attention, <laughs> which they deserve. They deserve it. Wait, where did Ebony go? Oh. <laughs> They're in the broom closet. They're, they're figuring some stuff out. <laughs> He's giving her a tip. <laughs> the spark plug. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. I love it. I love the joie de vivre that they have. You know, they just enjoy life. They're not shackled by the fucking, uh, like... 21st century workplace like you have to act like this or be like that they're just having a good time they're get they're getting loose mm -hmm. just walked out with big teeth oh, ebony charges for ass touches <laughs> it's just like it's like lucy and peanuts yeah. she has her psychiatry booth yeah you come up to the booth <laughs> but you'll also Mer <laughs> whip that ass out of the way when you're trying to touch it like lucy <laughs> <laughs> like the football and I yeah. do a flip. Yeah. <laughs> You're running up to touch her ass. I swear she's not going to do it this time. <laughs> Fucking Lucy. Oh. Ebony. What? What? Someone's subscribing me to like porn websites. <laughs> to yeah, your work dude. email? Like newsletters. Yeah, dude. You said your full email. And then we d and then we gave it more attention on the show and like <laughs> a porn newsletter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does that look like? Yeah. What's that, a porn? Can <laughs> you give us a quick synopsis? <laughs> I know that they used to send them out in like uh like a broadsheet newspaper and Glenny Balls was just like licking a finger <laughs> out reading <laughs> through it. Oh, what a bastard. Leg crossed on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> um where's Sass? He's uh, filming. Uh, filming. Oh yeah, that's right. Sketches, Sketches all day, he says. Come on, bro. That shit's inacceptable. For real. Completely inacceptable. All right, Sam. Uh, thanks for being here, bro. Yeah. Thank you. I, I got to go deal with this email situation. Yeah, what, what do you do? I don't know. I think I'm screwed. No, I think there's a way you could turn it on so you only get internal emails oh, like yeah. from the same. Yeah, I guess that's smart. Do you send in this this intern? I'll fade out. Which one? This one, Jack Max intern? Yeah, sure. Thank you, brother. You're always putting up the front fun prompts when you walk in Not the door. Not fun. Now. She's it's humiliation porn. A uh, little bit. A mm -hmm. little bit. She the yesterdays. I have a bone to pick with yesterdays. Uh, yeah, well, let's let's get down? to the bottom of that. Have you? Has no. she been on the act? No, I don't. Not uh, with I don't me so. on it. Not with me on it either. But she's she's doing a lot of content Flat with Jack men? Mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I turned a corner one day and saw her and Jack Mac jogging down the street. What do you mean you heard them jogging? <laughs> or I saw them. <laughs> I heard. I did hear them. Yeah. Jogging hey. for a TikTok or a jogging? jogging? It must have been. How's it going? Hello. hello. How's Hello. it going? Good. Grab a seat. Have you been on the yak? Oh. Oh, welcome. Welcome. To the welcome. Here, pull the mic, pull the mic up close. Hi. You know, you're fine. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Introduce yourself. My name is Maddie. I'm an intern here. Oh. And you're one of the few content interns. Yes. I've been down on the content floor a couple times. I think we've yeah. seen each other. Yes. Who else are the content interns? Who else is doing content of the intern? I think it's just um, mainly me, but also Peyton and I do stuff on the main page together. But I think I'm the only one with like my own TikTok sort of vibe. Yeah. Sort of vibe. Well, you've been putting up the prompts every day, and you yeah. have a problem with it. I think What's some of them are humiliation porn. I saw what you did. To, <laughs> I saw what you did to Connor Mook yesterday. That was crazy. You asked people to do a clap push-up. That was In this office. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Can any know. of you do one? Well, oh, KB, you could probably do a bunch of them. Yeah, people are saying that you could definitely think you could. The world record. Wait, the world record. Would probably a hundred, not one. I would never <laughs> do one. The world record in a minute was 77. Oh, yeah. 77. You could definitely do 100. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, because I'm afraid he'd push himself up too much and he'd just be on his feet. You just stand. He probably can. <laughs> that counts, I think. Or so anyway. you um, came in here with all your own, like, TikTok. Um, and what were you doing or what are you doing? So I do, like, it's kind of like lifestyle. I started making TikToks a year ago in the summer, and I had this thing on my lacrosse team. So I play lacrosse at Marist College. And we all had this thing where we would call each other Jim. Yeah. In like this southern accent. So then I went on my TikTok. Uh, like how then? Like GM. Hey, GM. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So I go. So in some, last summer I was waitressing 40 hours a week and was like, you know, I'm just going to prop my phone up and be like, let's get ready for the day. And I was like, hey, GM. 
started calling my following gym and it like took off <laughs> and then i got like 10 i mean took off as in i got 10k by the end of the summer yeah no, that's good that's back to school good. people liked it yeah so you're still in school i'm still in school yeah i play lacrosse at maris college still and i'm gonna be a senior nice hell yeah and nice. uh are you so kb said he turned the corner he I saw did. you and jack mac running jogging yeah yes we were jogging jack mac and i have became Good friends, so yeah. it's been fun. We do like Jack and GM. It's like a little that was you know, for a thing. video, correct? Yeah, that was for a video. Cause yeah. his friend, he's friends with this um, influencer named Kate. She's a running girl in NYC. And we did a running video. We ran like point nine of a mile, and okay. Jack Mac was heavy breathing. I'll tell you, that. <laughs> tough. That's point tough. Nine. Oh, wait, are you? You could have. You could have rounded up. <laughs> <laughs> could have told him a whole mile. Nobody would have known. Point nine. Point nine. <laughs> so are you his intern? Not technically, but we have a, our bit online is like Jack. Oh, the, oh yeah. Bring me with this you. I'll running. get you both any pair this of running thing. sneakers. Oh, can you hear it on here? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Hi guys, I'm Jack. You may know me from TikTok. <laughs> this is what I saw. I was shook. <laughs> but you saw it in person. <laughs> yeah. The street. My name's Maddie. Wait, are you in this video, Kyle? <laughs> You're walking. No. You're walking at that point. You were just walking. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna give you guys a behind the scenes look into the Barstool office. I'm so excited. And it's about a mile run. Tell me about how you got started <laughs> working at Barstool. Oh, there's like an interview. Wasn't that good at it? So this woman, that's this is her style of uh, her content. Says she she does like uh, running uh, TikToks. Mm -hmm. She interviews nice. people. And she like blew up. She's like five hundred thousand followers now. But okay. usually it's like, how many miles are you running today? And they're like two. And she's like, if you run seven with me, you're like fourteen. Usually it's a lot of yeah. Mileage. So I'm doing my own with her actually on July 11th. So I'm yeah. scared. Do you know how far you're going? I don't yet? know. I'm scared. <laughs> I haven't. It's hard to work out also like commuting every day because I commute from New Jersey. So yeah. I've been lacking in the running department. What though. position do you play? I'm an attacker. Do you think you could score on Jake Malisak? I heard that he's in the World Games. Yeah. I think that I could score on him. A lot of people yeah. have. <laughs> yeah, they're the Czech Republic, right? No, he played at UVA club. Um, <laughs> Is it club? Did I? <laughs> yeah, I think you said club. I think oh. you snuck club in there. The UVA. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. So, so you probably you could probably score on him. I think so. Yeah. Throw a couple fakes in there, maybe. Hell yes. What uh? So what kind of like uh, content are we gonna see from you this summer? We ha it's, it's two more months. Two more months. Yep. I go. It sucks because I go back to school and like have Fuck class. School. I know. You I'm like, don't I don't, to go back let's to stay school. forever. You don't need it. I want to stay forever. I've been doing a lot. So that's basically what I do here. It's like I post five times a day in the office, just doing my own thing and also helping on the main page and helping with social people, getting to know, collabing. Yeah. Um, What's the prompt today? It's, oh, I just took it down. It was on there for so long. It was um, what would be your um, baseball walk up song if you were. Oh. Baseball. Oh, body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Yeah, I wrote see ya. That's oh. another thing. I have phrases, so I have this thing where I say see ya, Pete. No, oh, I was gonna say <laughs> you don't just claim see. Yeah, you yeah. No, 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 not <laughs> that. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> see ya, Pete. Yeah, Pete's P E E T S Pete's like short for pizza, I guess. But like I just kind of like was another thing. I'd be like see ya, Pete's, and then like I'll be walking around now, and someone comes to me and they're like see ya, Pete's. Love your TikTok. I'm like see ya. Oh Kinda shit! Crazy, yeah. yeah. That's sick. Like Damn. That. Well, uh, thanks for coming in. We just had the uh, yeah, Nick had his dog me on. Pick, Where can people follow stuff? your oh, TikTok? Yeah. If yeah. Well, my TikTok too. account is that's not a thing. It's Mubi. It's not my name. M zero zero B I E. Mubi. And the where's, that, where's that come from? Oh, that's what it is. Um, it came like I've had it since high school, and I just never changed it. I thought it's it's funny. It, it was nothing really. It's no origin to that, honestly. Me and my Jack, Pete's. Mooby. Jim, Jack, Jim. Jim, Jack, Jim. 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 Yeah. Pete's Mooby. Jim. Yeah, that's just a, a lot of. A girl of many names. And yeah. my real name's Maddie. So. Okay. There you go. What do you, what do you want to go by? Whatever you want. Maddie, Jim, Mooby, Pete. <laughs> See your Pete. No, whatever you want. Cool. Love it. Alfred? Yeah. yeah. The thing is, how are we going to embarrass Connor Mook tomorrow? Yeah, what should we do? Another athletic challenge? Yeah, maybe? keep doing the athletic ones. How about like a, like a barrel roll or like what, or like a cartwheel or something somersault. like that? A somersault. Did you see his high kick to the water bottle? Yes, he yeah. fell very hard, very fast. That, you, made him crazy. Quit, you made him quit kickboxing. No. He quit that day. Quit he did? Yes. No, that should be a sign for him to do <laughs> more yeah, kickboxing. He's was been paying and that was the result. <laughs> yeah, but he, he actually quit. He was pretty uh, high up there. He actually quit. Damn. That's sad.
I don't know Can that. you believe what you've done? Mook and Mubi could collab. So if, if they offered you a full-time job, would you quit college? Two people have asked. Now that's the third time someone has asked me that. I'm like, I, what do you guys think? Well, Sasquatch did it, and it worked out great for him. Yeah. He said, fuck college. Well, for yeah. you, it'd be more like, would you be willing to quit lacrosse? Yeah, that's yeah. another thing. I'm sort of... So, lacrosse is so hard to think about right now because I'm so immersed in like this, biz, like this world Sounds right now. Sounds like you prioritized like this over lacrosse. O- over maybe, lacrosse, maybe 100%. Quit. Like last year at this time I was waitressing and could still work out and like go to the turf, go to my cleats. But like I haven't, if I'm being honest, done that in a while. What are you, what's your major? I'm a communications major. Quit. <laughs> PR uh, and advertising at Marist. Uh, yeah. uh, see ya. That's it's like, thing. Yeah, see ya, Pete's Marist. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess... My parents are probably like, really? Because also I'm on scholarship there. Ah. So you're not paying oh. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, good point. Not yeah. losing out on. I'm going to have them watch this. Yeah, yeah, kick it through to them and see. But, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you have a great summer. And uh, we'll see you We'll see you around yeah, the I hope we meet again. Bye. Oh, yeah. So you beat. Yeah. 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 All right. Damn, having good catchphrases oh, really does. It really it helps. It helps. helps a lot. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Like if, if somebody yells to you on the street, what do they say to you? Do they say Roni? Baby the Prince? Can't say the word they use for me. Yeah. <laughs> you want to bad though. Always have. Uh I get anus and OBGYN or KB. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, where is Sass? Yeah. A lot of that. I get 10X is probably the most X. common. And then I always respond with this. I'm like, yay. I get boy dad a lot too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is great. I've been on twice. You get Meek Phil. Yeah, Meek Phil a ton. <laughs> Like, I can't leave the house without getting me killed. <laughs> I get fights a lot. <laughs> uh, like fights? fights. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. How is it that Meek Phil and uh, Frank both have the same D, like yep. D sound? Yeah, they, they, they this do. And this and yeah, that. Like, the TH becomes a D. This, this guy did. kind of need more of Meek Phil. I know. Yeah. Fuck. You know what I'm here? saying? Is he oh, here? I don't know where he is. I fucking blow the whistle for Where is he Look from at the exactly. office. My word. <laughs> yeah. Gross ass office, brother. This office needs a woman's touch so badly. Mm. Terrible. Look at that design, dude. Fucking all business, Pete. Nice design. Pete. Yeah, it looks good, man. I'm glad you're st- sticking around. <laughs> Eat the charge. Look at that. <laughs> oh, no. Look, your troops are all there, excited, waiting. I know. Jim's about to go to Chicago with you guys. Yeah. Jim. Jim. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> fun to say. That shit is fun to say. Dude, I'll be fucking scrolling TikTok, and I'll see a TikTok being like, Roan's not going to Chicago because his wife is rich as fuck. <laughs> I actually, Wait, you'll see a I thought that TikTok was, yeah, I saw that. I don't see TikTok talking about it, but all the comments are like, his fucking rich <laughs> ass wife. Hey, green screened over that? your proposal photo on Instagram. No, I don't want to see it. That's I'm not a trying to real bring... TikTok, some of it? it no, the rumor like, has it, Roan's not going. The comments in the TikToks whenever like someone will clip something about Chicago, uh, that's what, that'll be what a lot of the comments I kind of want to make that TikTok myself. <laughs> It's his the rich it's like, his wife. Where's the fucking? Wh- when do I get some of the money? <laughs> He's fucking walking around rich as fuck. It's just funny when people just run with crazy ass narratives. Yeah, they do and I don't blame them. They get they need to have their fun. Who's it hurting? <laughs> Me, dude. Where my fucking? <laughs> you can rich de- ass wife. You can live with that. Yeah, that my, that's the stereotype I'm pissed off about. I did. Fucking everyone's calling me rich. <laughs> How am I going to struggle rap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just hilarious to see God. conclusions that people jump to. Yep. She's rich. <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's That's funny. It is. It's like un- it's an unacceptable answer that I like New York. Like it always has to be. Like oh no one will just go with that. No one will just like yeah. accept no, that. He can't. He can't. <laughs> no, there's got to be something else. He's not allowed to go. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. But um, I I'm excited to go to West Virginia. I hope there's ideas that I can go out there. Unfortunately, we're trying to plan like uh, these end of end of New York shows, and everything that we're trying to do, Brandon can't be a part of. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. so fucked. Yeah. It, it just doesn't, it's it's just not right, dude. We need to fucking free Brandon. We're clever enough with our brains put together, we could figure out a loophole. Like prosthetics. We could do that, yes. 
on him. Yeah. Like Heavy. what? What if we did one of these special episodes was the roast of Brandon Walker? Yeah, and he's just not Sitting here there. for it. Yeah, he's not it's, here. it's like a penance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to. He has to e- take his medicine. What more does he need mm-hmm. to do? Or like we do one episode in the sun somewhere that he can't be, you know? Or like, yeah. Th- so wait, what is the deal? Brandon can't be in the special episodes. Yeah, those are the group chats that I'm seeing. Brandon is not allowed to be in the special episodes, or like if they're sponsored in a certain oh, way. Brandon. Yeah, can't be I part get of that. It. But. Uh, I don't know, dude. I want my boy BW yeah, I don't in the, love special, in the yeah. special episodes. Why don't we just add other special episodes for the sponsorship and then have the special episodes that we're talking about be ones that Brandon's part of? I, yeah, he's got to be a part of any special episode. Oh. Did he make it there yet? Is he there? In he said this place sucks in the in the Yak chat, and uh, I didn't know what he meant. Uh, he meant Barstool Sports. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I thought he meant his new house. Oh, no, 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 no. He's very happy there. Is it? Uh-huh. Have you seen his house? I don't know why I said, is it like I'm British? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's very happy there. Is it? <laughs> uh, have you seen his house? Have you he sent me pictures from, house? yeah, yeah. He sent me pictures from his, uh, I love to FaceTime people when they just move into a new place. I've done the same thing with Spider and with Tommy. Uh, in their new places they've moved into, just because uh, people are so excited to show it off. Yeah. It's so exciting. You know, th- their voice has that echo. Yeah. Like, it's not ready, but this is going to go here. <laughs> yeah. 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 I want to get this for that. Day bed. Oh, like, it is. look how much bigger this shower. I'm going to take baths all the time. You're not going to take one, first of all. <laughs> yeah, baths? The high hopes. You're never going to take a fucking bath. Never. Oh man, I've never I've never had that though. I've never been excited about a move until really? now. Yeah, because I don't know, dude. They people get jazzed up to move to like the East Village, which location wise is fantastic. But anytime I'm walking into an East Village apartment, it's not necessarily like exciting no. in a way of like, no. oh my god, like it's like, okay, how am I gonna fit my shit in? A little here? demoralized. Yeah. yeah. What am I gonna? Where am I gonna yeah. put my shit? But I do like the East Village. The, oh, the first time I great. got my own place in New York, I was like, it was a studio. It was like a mini studio, but I was like thrilled to finally, I had to climb over my bike to get in the door every day. Really? And I like loved, I was so excited. How often did you use your bike? 24-7. I used to bike to work all the time. Really? Like, yeah, I'm hoping to when I get to Chicago. You would bike uh, like a, a non-electric bike to work? Over the Queensboro Bridge. That's all fucking the time. Thorough. That's when fucking I was, like, badass. Super pregnant, That's like I was s- still doing it. I sh- probably shouldn't have. No, that's that's <laughs> incredible <laughs> exercise. Like yeah. climbing any the ascent to get up a but bridge. But the descent going into the city when you're cruising on a bike is like if you got a good song going on, it's like I, I get know. so excited to yeah. ride a bike every single day. Every day really? I like to put on like music or a podcast. Water. I'm just like yeah. I just enjoy the commute really? so. Well, I need. Much. I'm at a point where I need the uh, electric. The, the oh yeah, I use the electric because I'm going. Over it's so the hard to get. They're either broken or not there. Dude, do you know what people are doing now in City Bike? I'm about to file a complaint. I'm, I'm willing to as well. They're, there's a QR code, and they scratch yeah. out the QR code because there are certain people that have a key. And so oh, oh, no. No. Scratch out the QR code so only those people can use it. Wait, and I tried to buy key? the key, and you can't buy it. The key is no, no longer I'm for sale do, by City Bike. I would do that 100%. I would do that too if I had yeah, a key. If I, if I had the key, I would do it. But now well, since I can't need, be a part of that, here, I'm going to yeah. care in the fuck out and probably – file a complaint yeah electric's a game changer oh it's so good would you guys run back january 6th if it was to yeah. find out uh, <laughs> 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 yep. Fuck yep. It. this week on jack and jim <laughs> uh uh would you run back january 6th if it was to find out who was on the uh like who who was behind all of the epstein stuff who was on all of the epstein uh like uh, run, what do you mean run? I would. Uh no, it kind of puts a target on your head. And uh, what can you do about it? Wait, wait, what like are we just doing? to make it you public? Undo who the it. people that Jeffrey Epstein worked with? I would run back so many things that there's nothing more that I would want than that. Then what? January sixth or the Epstein? The Eps, the yeah, everything the Epstein. about the Epstein. Like a yes, detailed need, list of exactly who. Yes, was I need was, every yeah. single person. Yeah. Dude, you guys gotta watch the driver. His. Well, it was on 4chan, so we don't know if it's real, but oh. it <laughs> probably was. It, w- it was very detailed and it was crazy. Well, it was his personal driver spilling the tea or yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh shit. Yeah. Did you Ooh, see the guy on 4chan people? that Rihanna. got convinced to uh oh. what? Rihanna. And again, this is 4chan, so it could have been completely made up, but it was so detailed to the point that it seemed real and he said there was a lot of like the uh, sex parties with kids. With Rihanna? She was one of the names, yeah. Fuck. I don't know if I should say this. <laughs> yeah, Chris Brown's going to hit you. Yeah. Shit. That's fucking bad. Did you ever see the guy on 4chan that found a grenade and everybody convinced him to p- microwave it and then he died? Yes. No. Is that real? Yeah. That's so fucking dumb. My God. Why? They're the smartest and the dumbest people over there. Yeah. Like, that, people are so smart over there that I could see someone having a super detailed, fictionalized account. Right. I'm... Yeah, it's almost definitely fake. Yeah. But that's why it's just like, I need to, I need to get to the bottom of this. I never will know, but I would fucking love it. They've got to know, right? I mean, well, there's unless gotta be. A, I mean, we I get the like tinfoil the hats, but unless he's like a CIA operative or some shit like that. Or there were CIA operatives. But then, I mean, that's why we need Lil Sass to learn a little bit more Arabic <laughs> so he can get into Langley and really get to the bottom of this thing. I'm fucking woke, dude. I'm trying to figure it the fuck out. You woke about the uh, wildfires going on right now? No. What's that? What's Those that? Are, I don't. I don't. I'm not woke about it, but I, everybody's talking. I've seen headlines that it's they're intentional. Oh, oh my god! No, Why? I'm not woke to that. It's not actually the smoke in the air. It's fucking LSD. Oh. Project Paperclip <laughs> the all over again. Chemtrail kind of stuff. Yeah. It's LSD. Wouldn't that open people's minds? That'd be s- pretty sweet. You I never know, man. I think it's just because the fucking uh, trees are dry from a lack of moisture. Canada has a no putting them out policy. Yeah. Like really? We, we fight them here, and Canada's like, no, yeah, no. They just, they're like, there it goes. That's, yeah. That's how nature wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> is that how Canadians, is that your Canadian accent? <laughs> yeah. I think if it's like near a city or something, probably, but like, I'm pretty sure their thing is like, just let it go. I like Native American Canadians, a good character. <laughs> I mean, they're, they are. Yeah. Yeah. The Inuit. Actually, they probably have a whole different accent going on. They're probably not even talking that much. The Inuit, are they silent? Are they silent people? Uh, they're, my, they're my fucking letters look like uh, pictures. Yeah, cave drawings. Hieroglyphics? Still on that shit. They're still using it. Inuits? What do they look like? Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you do. I don't know. I've seen it. Let's go around and name a Native American tribe each. Let's, yeah. let's just Kay. each say one until we can't name anymore. Iroquois. Cherokee. Algonquin. Uh, Apache. Hopi. Cree. Cree. Illini. Erie. Someone already say Algonquin. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Uh, um, oh, no. Oh, the... The Delaware? Okay, yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Uh, Comanche. <gasps> that one? The sh- uh, Shawnee. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ottawa? I'm really showing my ass here. The Susquehannock. <laughs> You're yeah. just naming rivers. You're always just naming which might be, the rivers which might you work. down. Yeah, <laughs> which might work. Yeah, it, it probably could. will. Mohican. Oh God. The Pawnee. Uh, Belvedere. <laughs> <laughs> Windsor. Yeah. The. Uh, there was the Delaware. Is black Delaware. Black? Is there black? Ute? Probably Ute. Yeah. The. Uh, okay, we did. Pretty good. Yeah. We didn't even touch the uh, the Winnebago, Lenape. or the the Lenape, or the oh, Lenape. Navajo. No. The, the Navajo. Navajo is like the biggest Wind River. Who are they? Mohawk. Mohawk, yeah. Oh shit. But the Mohunk. See, we respect the, the tribes. We respect you the native very people. Respect. Yeah. We've always been respectful yeah, to them. Been crazy respectful. No one's representing them either. They're representing themselves. Uh, a lot of teams used to. <laughs> a lot of pro yeah, teams yeah. used to. They, they don't have like movies. Oh, the or Redskins. Si- they need sitcoms Indian. or reality shows. That one sitcom was really good. Native American one. Yes, it was very funny. It was like called The Res. Really? Last year or the year before, I and it was like that. genuinely very funny. But are there uh, like what? Are, how are they in numbers as far as actors? Like, are there a lot of actors? Right. 
Um, the whole cast was, and I think it was written by Native Americans. It was like really fucking funny. Um, I hope I don't have the name of the show wrong. Wow, There's a lot of funny. It. I binge streamed it wherever it was. Wow. Yeah. That's how you know it's good. The res. Yeah. You know what else is good? High noon. Mm-hmm. Man, do I love that stuff. High noon tequila seltzer, a premium hard seltzer, and I had one last night. Went out to dinner, and to me, the perfect pregame is a high noon. It sets your night going in the perfect direction, and it's like a neutral base. It's like putting on a white T-shirt. You can wear anything around it. The It's going to launch your night into a, an incredible way because it tastes so good and because there's no malt in it. It's not going to give you that icky feeling. There's no gluten. So if you have an adversity to gluten, it's not a problem. It's only 100 calories, so you're going to feel slim and trim for beach season. And if you're enjoying your summer, if you're outside, if it's the 4th of July, if you're riding on a boat, pontoon boat perhaps, Kate? Does that sound nice? Uh, let me tell you, I was just on one, and I was hankering for a nooner. I as soon as that pregnancy is over, let's get some high noons to kill How room. long do you wait? You can, Immediately you can if you want to. I've seen some ladies have champagne in the hospital room. And as soon as that thing's out. Oh. Yes, it's uh, it's the delicious drink. The drink of the season. Have a nooner. Uh, the drink of the season is what I call it. It is the champagne of premium hard seltzers. And you can look for them on Drizzly or at your local convenience or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find some high noons near you. Man, do I love them. Man, do I love high noons deep down to my yes, core. Sir. Most of my refrigerator at home is high noons. And I pay for mines. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the wifey pays. Come on. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, you know, uh, Chad Ochocinco only spent his endorsement money. Never you, You've you never spent a paycheck. I've never spent my barstool money. I've only spent the wifey's money. <laughs> We're rolling in it. About to go to South Africa. By the way, the show's called Reservation Dogs. The Res Reservation Dogs. Yeah, Reservation Dogs on Hulu. The boys in my chat room are saying you lied about Canada letting them just burn. burn. Yeah, they said we don't do that. What are we, inbreds? Fuck that shit. Tell them I saw a TikTok about I believe it, so you. I still believe you. I'm an expert now. Yeah. There's no firefighters in Canada. I think the firefighters are tougher than cops. No one else? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, uh. All right, yeah, all right. Physically. Um, if it's a hockey game, I'm rooting for the firefighters, too. Oh, I gotta yeah. say, I am. Definitely too. rooting for the firefighters. If I have to pick who I'm partying with, it's firefighters. A million times they over. Who I'm going to a cookout with, firefighters. The most well. traumatic memories are from cops. Are they? Yes. That aren't. That's from the clergy. Being arrested sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you, uh, I can't stop thinking about the Monster Mash. What do you think the most parodied song in the world is? Damn. That's a good one. What's a bit? I mean, it's just got to be. Well, is it just the biggest song in general, or is it? Do you think any song? Do you think some songs are more ripe to be parodied? Some are way more ripe to be parodied. Yeah, what? That is a fucking good question, dude. It's Friday. I was about to just say. Oh uh, wow, Rhapsody, but I can't think of one parody of that. That's a great call. Friday, people are going to fucking town on the parodies of Friday. It's Friday. That was right in like Rebecca the prime Black. of uh, oh. like parody song just, YouTube. Yes, yeah. it was like that's everybody's YouTube. Yeah, a lot of people were parody. A parody. He's Katie like a super Perry. hot DJ now. California yeah. girls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, California girls was parodied. Do we work with anybody that ever made a parody song? Jeff Lowe. Oh, had to. Oh, Jeff Lowe. I mean, uh, <laughs> pop <laughs> punk. Jeff Lowe. Oh, yeah, pop, pop punk. punk. Pop punk is a ton of parody. Parody's nuts. A pair of these nuts. Well, what does this article say? They let it burn wild and free up Kate, there. I'm saying. Oh, the boys, your clients. Your <laughs> no, these aren't my clients. <laughs> this is random people who have my number. This, oh, is Cedar, this is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. <laughs> this is Cedar Park. <laughs> This is Cedar Park. This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. Our parents call us in before it gets too dark. This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. This is Cedar Park. This is Cedar Park. This is Cedar. This is Cedar. This is Cedar Park. This is Cedar eyebrows. Beautiful. Looks like Eugene Levy. When it comes to doing them, that's just not my game. 
I work yeah. at Golf Smith. That paper, yeah, I stack it. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's great. He has never Every everything. Day. He has his Yukon on. Yeah. He has his bracket. Oh, oh, those are those <laughs> sex havers <laughs> shorts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cleveland. He, he, he has, for people that say he roots for, he's been the same way forever. Yeah. Uh, he is him. <laughs> he is himself. That was a good one. That was funny. It was great. It was timeless. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg's sister has a parody song. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. What is it? It's uh, We're All Gonna Make It instead of We're Not Gonna Take It. It's about uh, crypto. Oh, God. Uh, how'd that work? Not well. <sighs> Are they so they're they're not gonna fight? I didn't know Mark Zuckerberg was five seven. That's why he had to be rich. Yeah. Why did I think he was tall? He's definitely Doesn't he have the body type of a tall person. He has the voice of a tall person. That might be it. The hell is the body type of a tall person? I just person? always looked at tall. him and thought he was <laughs> <laughs> long limbs. Yeah. Oh man. Long limbs and torso. Yeah. <laughs> Built like a tall guy. You know what? You only—I right. feel like you only ever see photos of him like alone. That's what that might oh. be it. Or yeah. On the ground grappling. Never he's seen like any on comparison. a paddleboard, or he's with his wife, or with his wife who's very short. Yeah. So. Hmm. So those dudes—they uh, all just grapple now. The testosterone slash steroids that they're all taking must be crazy. Yeah. You know that those boys are not not biohacking. They are biohacking their asses off. And they definitely know their real age. You guys think you're younger or older than your real age? What's that mean? Oh, like you're like whatever your that fucking aging? new, new older, stupid ass shit. Older, older, yeah, older. Yeah. much older. Interesting. Yeah. Katie, do you think you're pain. older? Sharp I remember like I, I, whenever I see like '80s decor, I like get, get flashbacks to something. Wait, do you think you have an old soul? I, I have memories of the '80s in my <laughs> head, so I know I, I think I was born in '89 or '88. <laughs> Oh, you think they just fucked up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You guys see that in South Korea, everybody uh, gained like a year today. What? What? So apparently they changed, uh, I, I don't know what it is, they changed the law and now the time that you're in your belly, you're in your mother's belly counts as, counts as one year. So everybody went like a year up in age, something like that. Oh. Wait, Seems today? I pretty believe it significant. Was like, yeah, they, it was like you were one when you are born. Yeah. And then you age again when the year changes for the first time. Uh, so if oh. you were born on December 31st, you'd be two when you were three days old. So people's whole ass ages are changing? Yeah. they like. Rev yeah. I think they reverted it to like the normal scale. So either people lost a couple years or gained a couple years. A couple? So, I, so I saw it. I, Up I don't to know, a couple. I don't know if it was parody. How I saw it is they were, I think it was like a FIFA rules thing that they were looking at like the South Korea players. So are people reverting their ages or adding to their was ages? Was it just for They're sports adding. to make them? adding. Well, that's how I saw it. That's how I saw it and then I looked at it. How old's Jungkook or Rap Monster? That, so it was Yu Ming Sung. It was, uh, it was uh, the, the Tottenham guy. Yeah. Son is the one Son. they were using. But yeah, yeah, South huh. Koreans become a year or two younger. Yeah, so they're a year old when they're born, <laughs> and a year is added every January 1st. So if you were born on December 31st last year, by January 2nd, you'd be two. Wait, well, but so they gave everyone the same birthday. It's just they ch their their age Starts changes when on year. the January 1st. So yeah. They have a big party. Do they, they, celebrate, birthday. do they celebrate birthdays? But they I don't all have the same birthday. Now their birthday is their yeah. birthday, but your year is the year that you're born in. You count from the, the number year of you're born years in. you've lived in. That's a weird thing to... Uh, uh. Are they just trying to get like a higher life expectancy? or What's, What was the reason they did that? Trying to judge the data? If you had the option to be only two years younger by number, would you take it? Yeah. i say no, because then everybody would be like, you're an old ass. For that age, you seem a lot older. Like, I don't want that. Yeah, women wouldn't do that. No, I'd yes, they would. I'd women wouldn't take a young a years younger. Women wouldn't want to be say that their their number is younger than it actually. I'd rather my age be fifty, but I'm me right now. And people be like, "Oh my God, you're right, a young fifty. Look at you." But no, I think people would want to be like, "No, I'm I'm actually like twenty eight, not 30. But it's never no, good not when women. people think you're much what? Older. Yes, yes. Women, women. want to look young and as good as possible. Uh, or why would age. women lie about their age then? Women aren't lying and saying they're younger than they yes, are. Oh, yes. They are. What are you talking about? Are they? I think I'm right still. So ask your chat. How old do you guys think I am? 25? 25, 26. Huh. 
Or do you want it to be the other way? Now, see, see, I feel like that would have <laughs> yeah, normally Kate. been the complimentary thing to say, but the way in your math, you want I me to be, be like, you're I would 65. guess 75, yeah. <laughs> Not what I would say. I think what they would They're want. Flattery. That's what Kate would want. Kate would want to be called 75? No. no well, no, would. that's that is what I'm saying. And that, But then, yeah, you, but you then you'd be like, damn. Kate for a seventy-five-year-old. That's what they want, is what I'm cool. saying. Yeah, but then they're just like, Kate needs to chill out with <laughs> seventy-five. Still got it. <laughs> Still yeah, explain got that. Sex. Yeah, this is Cedar Park. Now that's in my head. It got the monster mash all the way the fuck out of there. Oh, uh, we can get it back in. I don't think so. Not that graveyard smash. We'll say gray. My hair is like going gray, and I feel like I'm not there yet. And so that, like, every time I dye it and cover it, I feel much better. That's cool. mm, yeah. I'm not the kind of person who normally cares about, like, looks, obviously. But that is, like, for anyone who's gray, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't have We don't notice. Yet. We don't notice no, or care. I wouldn't. No. I'm going gray. You have gray? You're going gray? Besides I have head, some, like yeah. Half gray. Look like Mr. Fantastic. That'll be distinguished. Mm. Same Z's. Yeah, guys with salt and pepper. My face looks like I'm 15. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're an enigma. You look like Neve Schulman's assistant. I used to have such a crush on. Who no, that name? is? Who's that? <laughs> the dude from Catfish. The other guy from the other, Catfish. The other guy. <laughs> yeah, who is the other guy? I don't. I don't know, man. I Uncle. Uh, Ty Pennington. <laughs> <laughs> no. What was his name? What was his name? Was it Craig Kilborn who had like the gray strip, or he used to do talk soup? Um. Oh, remember the girl from Joan of Arcadia? Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, She's him. The Max All Joseph. Time. He really embraced it. He really. That was good on him. Matt McCusker has it. He's got a nice Nathan Fielder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nate, he's, he's real gray. Yeah. yeah, I fucking love it. Anderson Cooper's fine ass. Mm-hmm. Silver foxes. Nep- product of nepotism. Yeah, yeah. The brokest of all the Vanderbilts. Poor only soul. seven million dollars to their name. My heart goes out to them. He only but eats. My family. He only theirs. eats one item. I think. Anderson Cooper. No, who's the, it's the oh. other guy that only eats pork chops. <laughs> no, I think it's the NFL anal- It's the NFL oh, really? announcer. I think he only has pork chops. What? No, that's weird. Ooh. And w- were you just guessing? I read that Anderson Cooper Stephen has a Che weird just texted us Max. <laughs> Shout out Stephen Che. Appreciate hey. you, brother. So I knew <laughs> Che got it worse than I thought with his tweet. Are, are you yeah. thinking about uh, uh, Mel Kuyper? Mm. Because he he has like a very weird diet. They always talk about it on part of my take. It's like apple, he has apple pie. He eats like four apple pies a week or some shit like that. Or four yeah. uh, or like t- multiple pumpkin pies a week. Zah, what, Zah, what type of ice cream bars are you eating, Zah? Uh, good humor. And how good. many? It depends. What's depends. your like your so, peak? So you what is your peak consumption? So, uh, oh, peak. If I'm going for two full boxes, a box has six of them. In how? <laughs> in so, what time usual, period? Uh, that's a day. That's like on a Saturday. <laughs> oh, a day? Is that yeah, the I only thing you stuff. have? No. So I, I, have, <laughs> I have stuff around. Yeah. Those. Bro, which ones? The strawberry ones are so, so fire. So no, good. Oreo. Oreo. Oreo, Oreo, so chocolate strawberry, green. strawberry. I think is the OG. Wait, Oreo I want to try these. Real, so. Oh my god, never had so these. Good. No. Oh my. You never god. had the strawberries? I get high. Those ones. That's money. I get high on a Saturday. I can crush two boxes of those. <laughs> yeah, those two are great. But my stomach kills me the next day. It's it's. No yeah. shit, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're shocked. Yeah. Nah, I I put my body through hell. For the Marijuana, for the mouth man. feel. What's the longest bender you've had? Like if you've had these every day. Ooh, these I can't do these back. You need the day off, man. I yeah. Can't do these back to <laughs> I let the body it's, reset. Yeah, you can't, man. It's it's they they light they like legit light me up. But they're so fucking. Well, the strawberry one. The way, when you bite into the strawberry one, the like. Three textures that Green. you get right away is yep. one of the God, most elite. So they have them at Dwayne Reed? Good. Combo, yeah. yeah we get they're, them they're right really now because I it's like the They lock good. their ice cream up, though. They lock everything up. That's it's why tough. I only buy travel size deodorant now because I'm too fucking self conscious to hit the button <laughs> to the like they don't Like it's not someone's job to do that all day <laughs> to uh, go around yeah. to open yeah. it up, but you're still too self conscious. Hilarious. Yeah, they're just like, oh, I gotta hit this dude's fucking stinks. Listen to the fucking. I only do travel size stuff. That's so fucking funny. Anderson Cooper said he thinks eating is a waste of time. And oh, God. Co- Cooper has apparently caught on to Soylent. So, yeah, yeah. 
Soylent. Soylent guys are crazy. What is that? So, like a meal replacement, so but it's the yeah. nastiest one. He's trying to replace all food with Soylent. Huel guys are cool, though. What's Huel? Huel is human fuel. Uh, that's like what Soylent. Is, what, is, it, is it the same thing? Yeah. The dudes that, they'll like say how long it's been since they've had solid foods. It's almost like AA. You get like a chip. So what, you ju- ju- everything's a smoothie oh, in your life? Yeah. When I was uh, living in Lo- uh, Los Angeles, like a, a 12 pack of Soylent accidentally got delivered to me or it was like for the previous tenant or whatever. So I drank them and it's like uh, drinking a piece of paper. It's like so bland, thin and plain. But I don't know. It doesn't I think it, I'd like it. Yeah, yeah honestly, it sounds like maybe, I'd like maybe it. Maybe you would. Are you always <laughs> hungry feeling then? Eating is a waste of time. Come on. It's my favorite thing. Kyle, you'll say that in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eating is one of the greatest joys. I mean, it is uh, I, like uh, fasting and all that shit is obviously healthy for you. And as Ben Franklin said, lessen thy meals, lengthen thy life. But I think that it's still one of the, it's not a waste of time. Wasn't it's Ben Franklin a fat so? Yes. Yes. I mean, do as he so, hey, that dude was just spitting out phrases, dude. He used Yogi to have Barrel people wish. over and like electrocute turkeys in his backyard. Really? For yeah. <laughs> when they got electricity going, he's like, "Everybody, come over and check this out." He was also an air dryer. He would just uh, be ass naked in his backyard and he would walk around in circles until he was dry. Mm. He was a turkey guy. He wanted the turkey to be our national. Yeah, bird, he was right? a big turkey guy. Big on turkey. I hate turkeys. I'm glad that he lost that argument, though. Yeah, yeah it would be embarrassing. We, we got to stop respecting people across the board who are great at one thing. What do you mean? You know, like uh, just give me an example, though. One who's amazing at one thing. We got to stop treating them as elite humans. It, they need to prove that they're good at a bunch of things. Areas. They are probably lacking the most. Right. With the troops. But like Ben Franklin was good at a bunch of shit, though. The last master of all trades are boilermakers. The what? Saying. Boiler makers. You always want one in your crew. Hmm. Okay, is that they know how to do everything. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> they I'm going to take your word for it, though. <laughs> Master of all trades, boiler maker. I want to drink a boiler maker. What, what is, is that? It? A What's beer and a drink? shot? Yeah, I don't know. Drop a shot in a fucking Guinness or some shit? Dump that's a car or? bomb. Uh, the fuck is a boiler Sorry. maker then? <sighs> I actually don't know. <laughs> What is it? Hey, you could have a drink though, right? You could have like you could yeah, have like one car I bomb. You could have one, one car bomb. I have a couple. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's like, you can have wine. You can whatever. But what if your one drink was like a white Russian? Yeah, yeah, yeah something my like one heavy star. and gross. <laughs> Tennessee. A shot of liquor, usually whiskey, served alongside a beer. Oh. You just don't. Drop it in. Oh, it's like a citywide. Yeah, that's a citywide. I yeah. call that a citywide. That's really. a citywide? I've never it's like heard of that. It's a citywide special. You can get it in any restaurant. It's usually like a PBR and well whiskey and it's $5 five or something. Five bucks, yeah. For people to just get shit faced and feel like Za does after a b- box of good humor. Or two boxes. I love that. Maybe. That's my favorite tweet ever. That right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Za will tweet that photo in the mornings. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> You're it's due. been a while since we've had one of these. You're nah, due. nah, nah, bro, don't say that. You're don't overdue. Don't put that on my name, George nah. The 4th of July. The George, nah, we're Fourth behaving. Of July. Nah, we're, we're probably coming up on a uh, Jersey brunch. No. Actually, I just missed the, the last one. The one for June was last, uh, when was the 25th? Were you at the Classic or something? No, it was this past weekend. 25th, Saturday. Uh. So Zai, you, you got to host your nephew coming into town? Yeah, man. You, you, yeah. It's a lot of pressure? Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. I'm gonna what do you have ready for him? So the hell? What I, is this? Uh, Zod Zod brunch. Zod brunch. What the fuck? Oh, That's <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Cash? <laughs> Hundo. <laughs> Those are Hundo? Benjamin Franklin. Take we didn't back. react appropriately to this at first. Oh, no, <laughs> when did this come out? This is amazing. When did this Wait, come were you out? not here that day? It was like, uh, like a month and a half ago? <laughs> Two what the ago? fuck, Zod? <laughs> I could not have imagined you were eclipsed as, you ca- as they were dragging you out i could not have imagined who that was dude i thought it was going to be leonardo dicaprio <laughs> or Kylie oh, Jenner. yeah look at this i thought it was going to be like fucking the baby or something Stop going into brunch man Ron, do you know who he was there with who danny yes, take, uh, oh there we go my bad security guard Seca- oh i thought you meant jackal <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, god damn uh, you're crazy <laughs> security guard uh danny lives the best and craziest life uh-huh, uh-huh. 
I want to come back as him. Bro, he's about I, to go on. A, he's about to go on like a Europe swing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't keep up with him. He's a he's a beast. Ball player What's he doing too? in Europe? Fuck it. Yeah. He's about to have a fuck okay. fest. God damn. He's just a he's just a G, bro. He's just I can't get enough of him. He doesn't know if he's he might be out to Chicago. He's like whatever you need. It's gonna be awesome. But he said actually, right? if you guys can help me out with that. So my nephew's coming in. Uh, one snack recommendation. I went to so I I, would, I did the Costco one. Their variety is not as big. Snack? What do you mean, snack? Like a hors d'oeuvre? Oh, how old is he? Oh, he's nine years old. Nine years old. Oh, eight gushers. Eight years old, like the gushers. messy. Okay. Definitely gushers. Oh, brother. People, a lot of people are saying uncru- uh, Uncrustables. I think they're rolled yeah. up. Uh, you have an oven? So this is what I have so far. Oh, that's enough. I think you got to ah, get the bro. the wiener the the like little wiener cocktail wieners like the rolled up ones. Oh, I love fun uncles. Where are you Ooh. taking them? Those are fire. Okay. Yeah, okay. you can order them from Auntie okay. Anne's too, though. Okay. You some order them from pizza rolls too. Yeah, pizza yeah, rolls, some shit like that. Throw I like bagel mic. bites a little bit more. But he'll burn his mouth on those yes. tortinos, though. That's Since you have the graham crackers, you should get a marshmallow chocolate. I, I make them in my oven, and they're like so good. You could be like, this is a weird American. Where are you taking them? So I was thinking, so they're coming in on Saturday through uh, Tuesday morning. I was thinking Saturday we do the open tour, the the New York open tour bus thing. And mm-hmm. then, of course, we'll take it nice and slow because, I mean, he's young and all that. That'll that yeah. probably kill the whole day. I was thinking I was going to try butter up Tyler O'Day to see if I can get to the top of the Empire State. Jeez. Yeah, he'll get That you. would be awesome. And then uh, a ferry ride would be fun, too, that because that is cheap as hell, and it feels like you're, like, doing yeah, something. Like, you could literally just cross up and come back Staten, down. So I was yeah. doing Staten Island Ferry to go to go see the Statue I mean, of Liberty. Right, that's or Circle Line. So the nine, nine-year-olds, do they like, like, the M&M store? That, too, Times Square. Or, like, the Chelsea Piers. Times Square and all that. Yeah. American so girl. I had suggested, dude, I had suggested going <laughs> to going to like fucking what's it called, Six Flags and all. But they live in Florida, so they have Disney. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So that's yeah. why he was like, he wants more something New Yorky, New Yorky. So I went the traditional stimulating, uh, stimulating looking, look at the look at stuff in New York. Video games. That. Yep. Just just yeah. bulked up on. You. He'll have more than enough. He'll be plenty up on content. PS Five game spent about what two hundred, <laughs> three hundred bucks. How long <laughs> is he staying? God damn, Zach. Just for four days. Yeah. I'm uh, gunning he's for. He's fine. So I have I have uh, his mother. His mother's Jamaican. His her brother. He he also spoils the living shit out of them when they go to when they go to uh, go out to Kingston. Oh, so, so you're I gonna return the favor. Uh, that's like a competition. What I'm that's yeah. why I'm going hard. Oh. I'm, I'm a competition with him. That'll be fire. So, but you'll yeah. probably tire him out. I mean, you yeah. know what I mean? A kid will get yep. tired yeah. and grumpy, and uh, you probably just want to run him through some stuff, get him some rest. Run I feel like even if stuff. you just let him stay up real late eating True. junk food, that's yeah. like that's why I'm loading the up best. Snacks. Yeah. But I'm excited, though. That's yeah, awesome. like that was when I when I would go over to my aunt's house when I was really young, like watching a bunch of movies, staying up late as fuck, and mm-hmm. just eating like pizza. That was it. Seeing South Park for the first time. That shit was pizza it. Oh, yeah. In Grand Theft Auto. For it the wasn't first a lot. Time. I w- yeah. Yep, I had to play it on mute, but I got my first pair of boxers for my aunt because <laughs> that was a that was a boxers. mature gift. Yeah, yeah. they had paisley. Like a bra for a girl. <laughs> yeah, you're getting boxers stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> You're not ready for boxers. Your dick's not big enough. Yeah, I w- yeah, and that was hard to hear as a kid. <laughs> Rock hard to hear. Um, I love NASCAR. I just want to talk about it real quick. You yeah, should. mind if I do? Yes, sir. Please do. Coincidentally, they're a sponsor of today's show. No, is that true? Oh, yeah, but still go on. No, I was just yeah. talking yeah. off my off the hey, top wait, you of my were, head. Yeah, don't even worry about this. Say the ad first, and oh, yeah, I, I mean, I I could. T- I guess. Damn, I didn't even see this. That it really is. Oh, the Chicago street race is this mm-hmm. weekend. I mean, I knew that, but that's crazy that we're also sponsored by them. And uh, if you're out in Chi Town, you know, there's some some of our coworkers are already out there. Mm-hmm. Spiders, FaceTime back every day. Uh, PFTs out there. The making monies are out there. I strongly recommend to all of them to go to the Chicago street race on the second. Kick off your Fourth of July weekend right with some NASCAR. We love it. And everybody was down in Nashville this past weekend. It looked like the absolute time of their life. And you could have the time of your life if you get out there for 100 laps of NASCAR Cup Series inaugural Grant Park 220, which is on Sunday, July 2nd. Drivers are going to be tested on an unprecedented 12-turn Chicago street course that runs through the iconic Grant Park. There's And there's oh, two-day musical festival? 
man, Chicago does it right. Charlie Crockett. Miranda Lambert. Uh, uh, the Black Crows and Chainsmokers. Mm-hmm. Man, that's going to be a heck of a weekend, and it's always a heck of a time with NASCAR. Get out to the Chicago Street Race on July 2nd, 5.30, or you can watch it on NBC. Really enjoy yourself. Man, are you guys ever going to go to the uh, Botanical Gardens in Chicago? Oh, yeah. All the time. Are we, sp- really? are we sponsored uh, yeah. by them? No, this is just off. Uh, I probably off-tippy. wouldn't do that. Really? Go to the ones in the Bronx. Um, I used, to vo- I used to volunteer at those Chicago Botanical Gardens in the summer times when I was growing up. I would, uh, what? I would treat. What? You would just live in Chicago. Yeah, my grandma was my grandma oh. lived up there, and she was always oh. volunteering there. So she would just uh, bring us to also volunteer at those botanical gardens. How'd you like it? It was. Uh, I would tr- uh, trim the shrubberies of the uh, of the exotic plants. If there were oh. dead leaves, you kind of like pluck them out. It was very very boring as a young boy, but now I'll you. go back. Yeah. yeah. Put a good song I on. Enjoy yeah. the fuck out of myself. I love and uh, I love. A botanic garden, and I love an arboretum. You oh. love being high. Love what is an arboretum? Trees, man. All Arboretums are trees. Now that oh, I smoke, I might yeah. be into that. You would. Yeah. I think I would. Bro, I'm telling you, just looking at some exotic, uh, some exotic plants, some mm-hmm. some weird shit. You go into the indoor terrariums, but even just yeah. walking around, and they always have a good restaurant at a place like that. They mar- might serve you cafeteria style, which I do not support. But unless it's a barbecue place, that's the only place I want to. Why don't you like that cafeteria style? Yeah, I'm not trying to get my shit on a tray. Like I wanted someone to bring it, Mm. bring it out to me, even if it's real quick, like at West Elm or Westville. Westville, yeah, get that a lot. Westville could easily be a buffet. Yeah, I just started the Bear season one. Um, what is it on? Hulu. Hulu. That's really a good show. It was. It kind of made me uh, definitely anxious a little bit. It's yes. that's the yeah, whole it's premise. Fun, yeah. it's kind of It'll like make you anxious. The acting is phenomenal, from what I people say it, but I agree. What does it make you? Why does it make you anxious? It makes you. Well, you make, you're on edge. I design. Like Wait, busy restaurant life Brothers. is stressful yeah. anyway, and it like really hectic. Like uh. Oh wait, are are they the ones that did Uncut Gems? No, well it's the same vibe. It's not. It's not the same people that did oh, it. Like the Safety yeah, Brothers. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Oh, you're going to congratulate me? Congratulations, Nick. Thank you. Pal Torres. Oh, yes. <laughs> Big signing. Big, Big signing. signing. That shores up your defense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to Villa. Like, wait, what the fuck am I congratulating Villa. you for? Uh, wow. Well. Yeah, I could. I'm, Good player. I, I'm going to go party after this. Such a big signing. Yeah. Damn, I can't believe they could afford him. I mean, that was your manager's, f- your, your manager's former player. Yeah. You're low-key wearing the Villa colors right now. Lo- low, low-key. <laughs> Shit's on purpose. I know you meant it to, to do that. I do a lot of subtle things. Like the Winnipeg Golden Eyes. Ah, oh, who are they? Da-da-da-da. Um, don't know. But that's a good Has, anyone, has anyone been to Winnipeg? Nope. Uh, I don't even know where it is, to be honest. Yep. You've my been to Winnipeg? My aunt lives there. Yeah, Winnipeg. Your aunt oh. lives there? So, little fun fact: outside of Manila, apparently they have. I the heard sec- this. The, the second biggest pop, well, the biggest population of Filipinos outside yeah. of uh, the Philippines. So it's really? a swaggy ass town. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. It, yeah. it is well, boring. You think as Filipinos far- are swaggy? I love facts like that. There's a lot of X nationality yeah. in this X place that doesn't make sense. It's a shit ton of. It, it, and it makes no sense. Not to talk shit on the Filipinos, but I think no, I that them. of the uh, of the Asian countries, I think that South Korea may be a little bit swaggier no. than the Filipinos. Wrong. And uh, uh, yeah. Japan might swaggier, be. Swaggier. Finan- they, they have financial they have the advantages. financials, but the Filipinos are the swaggiest. They'll make, th- they'll make a dollar out of 15 cents, for <laughs> sure. They'll stretch their swagginess. But maybe I'll put Filipinos at third. I'm happy to put Filipinos at third. Or the, I mean, I gotta get to fucking Bangkok. You gotta, yeah. We should do one of our special shows in Bangkok. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. That'd be simple. Wouldn't that be fucking sick. Don't they? Do they Eight st- floated the idea of tubing. <laughs> <laughs> I did. A figure. I did not mean to do Love that. It. No, I wanted to bring up. I wanted to bring up the ad because Little Sass is just in one of the ads. Yeah. And I fully believe it's him. He's in one of the what? Tube ads. 
But picture us doing an episode where we're all in a circle. There's usually eight seats on those big tubes, and we just do an episode, but we're on there's a, a river. There's a ton of electronics that go into it. And this it has show. to be plugged into the internet. Like, wow. we can't float away. I love the idea, but we'd have to get it in, like, an indoor, like, wave pool or something like that and be stationary with the illusion of us moving or there's something. There's one right across the river. The <laughs> how wave. how how are we going to get across the river? Tubing. <laughs> that middle guy is sass. Is sass. <laughs> Wait. It just is. picture us doing an episode. <laughs> 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 What's he doing? Oh, look, Che's the one that pointed out. He noticed immediately. He <laughs> that is sass. Are these... Oh my god. There's something like that guy on the left things. looks a little derpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's uh, jacked. Geez, the guy on the right, I can't stop looking at him. His uh, look at I mean look at the back of his shoulder, like uh, the back of his arm as it connects to his lat. Yeah. Look at the striations on his upper top lat. Oh my. Wait, how many people are on this god. thing? S- 5. 5. So who is the <laughs> odd man out? Me. Sass. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, who's who's who ain't getting play? Uh, I think. I think that's one big guy. Oh, the amorous d- couple. I middle think. guy, the fresh face guy, always d- does well. Always. I think it's left uh, or yeah. right. No, right. <laughs> no, no, no. Left. Trust me. I think the Jack guy <laughs> is like there trying to get extra. Like he's trying to just be. He's trying to bring something home for himself. Yeah. We need some more girls in here. We need some more girls in here. Fourth of July merch available now at store.barstoolsports.com. Don't even forget that. That's not even an ad we have, but I just want to remind the fucking people. You will not get in in time now, though, right? Uh, oh, no. Uh, but, I mean, that's this is the kind of merch that you want to wear all summer long. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine to rep the U.S. of A. And Fourth of July is kind of like a whole week now, you know what I mean? Fourth of oh. July is it's like uh, uh, it's it's like Ramadan. It's like the beginning of a season. Yeah. I used to go pick out my outfit specifically for uh, Fourth of July in high school at Rue 21. And by high school, I mean college. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember Rue 21? Yes. What was it? Was yeah. it Rue Yeah, I thought that was what? girls. It was dude. like H&M. I thought that was for uh, girls, boy. Girls. No, they had a really good cologne. They did. They had a, a guy Curve. Section. It was like H&M. Rue 21 H&M. Black. Oh, I never went there. You weren't swaggy enough. That's not true. Don't don't say that to him. He was swaggy. No, he definitely you were swag- was. You were swaggy, KB. He definitely mm. was. Oh. Should we uh, spin the wheel? Maybe play a quick sporkle? Why yeah. not? Uh, you know. I got a combo. I got a streak. I know. I, that we need to unseat. To unseat me. That's all I ask. We need to unseat Kyle. Oh, we used to do a tight hour. I know. Now it feels felt, rush. It kind of felt long. Yeah. <gasps> or, mm. No. No. Too many men, too many, many men. <laughs> All right, that's one dry gone. Went to a restaurant last night called Monkey Bar. Mm. Oh, I've heard of it. It's supposed to be fun. It, no? was, it, was, it was great. Oh, it was. It was incredible. What you get? What type of food? I don't usually like to indulge in a steak. I don't like to overdo the red meat, you know? I like to get meat, but uh, not red usually, but I got a New York strip last night. Y- there was no fish on the menu. No, they had a co- they had a, a they had a salmon, which I mean, s- I'm not getting summertime salmon. I don't even care if it's Atlantic. I'm not getting salmon yeah. in the summertime. That's and summertime. <laughs> and then there was a miso glazed cod, which you know could have been nice. I could have enjoyed it. It could have been delicious, but uh, I was between that. I was between the between the two. Is that your phone, bro? Yeah, Spectrum keeps calling me. I'm not paying. Oh wait, I keep getting called. I think I want a $500 gift card to Trader Joe's uh, when I submitted my name what? at the Hell's Kitchen Food Festival. What? Yeah. You How much? 500 I got 500 big ones. Damn. Who? They have good ice cream snacks. Just get the Trader golden Joe's. They got the best cookies in the game. I don't think I've ever shopped at a Trader Joe's. If you do, they got a bucket of mini crispy oatmeal cookies. Ooh. You will eat the entire bucket in I'll one sitting. I'll buy $500 worth. Yes. Hey, uh, Trader Joe's, you walk in and you're like, how is this everything? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's just all laid out in little, like, farm stands, but sure enough, they have everything. And it makes so you wonder good. what the fuck every other... They're coming up with new flavors and tastes, too. Yeah, yeah. which is how it should be. Like, we hit a governor on the new flavors and tastes that are hitting your average supermarket, mm-hmm. and, like, we need to be finding, like, more gorgonzolas and shit. Yeah. Mm. You guys like gorgonzola? Yeah. I think so. I think. 
thing. Side note, quick congratulations to Captain Cons, whose daughter was born this morning. Oh! Hey. Hey. Born when? Today? Yeah, this morning. Oh, congrats. Yeah. yeah Young lady's going to have a firm handshake. That I know. Yes, she really is. She really is. She's going to snap a bottle in half just by squeezing it. <laughs> mm-hmm. But congrats. Happy for them. That's fantastic news. Yeah. I know. Happy for, uh, for them as a couple. Good. I know. Girl, they got dad. to it. They got married. They got to it. They did. When did they get married? Last year. Two, my son's first birthday was, uh, was 2022. What? They got the, married. Oh, yeah. They're fucking. Yeah. They're fucking. They're, congrats. Oh, look hey. at the grip strength. I'm telling you, look at, at that grip strength. Shake. Yeah. She's having a good hand. She's white knuckling him already. Dude. Yeah. He He's, said he was wearing a West Point shirt, so she had a good first impression. She yeah. throws up all over him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's a Navy. Oh, Turns Navy. She's a Navy girl. But congrats. Oh, yes. Them. Congrats to him. That's fantastic news. Definitely. What a, what a great joy. What Amazing that he's just experiencing the best day of his life right now. Yeah. 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 It's exciting. It's this is a day we'll all forget. Yeah. <laughs> unless one of us dies. And then we'll probably all remember. We'll remember, yeah, remember that day. Yeah. Then. We're just like, see, yeah, any, some t- something it's catastrophic. National tragedy. Yeah. Some type of catastrophic shit. Shit. Big Reed. Big Reed. Young Reed, Southwest representer. Philly, Philly, Philly. I'm stepping up to the center with that all black Beretta, bro. Let me put some lead in you. And I got the blade, too. The one that was on Predator. Is that your button? Three dollars, bro. Ah. I'll be with whatever, bro. Grinding, et cetera. And I got the blades, too. I got to get my center up. That's fire. That's sick, dude. It's the best rap of all time. Let's play this Sporkle. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You think anybody's ever fucked to the Monster Mash? Yes, absolutely. That came out in the 40s? 62, yeah. they said, I thought. Because people, Halloween parties. Before we get to it, let me turn something on. Primo. It was all in a flash. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Okay, okay. It's One different. president to acquire the most land in U.S. history, two original tennis players in the Battle of the Sexes, what? three main ingredients for an old-fashioned, four kings of comedy, five resources in Settlers of Catan, or Catan, three boxes, boxers to beat Mike Tyson in a professional fight, seven Judd Apatow movies with Jonah Hill, eight Ivy League schools, 10 top fruit sold in the U.S. in 2022. 14 Lil Wayne studio albums. 14. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm out of here. Single one. We're about to get cooked. Uh, all right, this is going to be embarrassing. Maybe it oh, always starts with tough. you, brother, because you're... I don't know. One, I don't know. Two, three, three main ingredients for an old-fashioned... Is he going to be able to defend the title? I think I know. I think it's rye. Show us rye. Bourbon. Bourbon. Uh, oh, it's not. No, you're I good. mean it's rye bourbon. 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 Yeah, it's. They, they would have had to take uh, anything. How about let's go through? Let's go University of Pennsylvania. All right, for the Ivy League schools, I'll stick with that. I'll go Yale. Brown. Cornell, Harvard, Princeton, Shit. apples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all out of uh, Dartmouth, bananas. It's got to be number one, right? Yeah. When a bananas were s- initially pitched to the U.S., they said it's as filling as bread and as sweet as cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of f- fun fact. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will go. Clear the ivies. Uh, no, because I, <laughs> I don't know the last one. Do I? You do. Uh yeah, let's let's go uh let's go with orange. <laughs> what? Oh, That's a th- it's oh, t- oh. oh, thank god. Oh my god. Oh. Um grapes. That's the probably 
I always see him. Columbia. Oh, oh Columbia. Yeah. Let's go Buster Douglas. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. I'll go Bernie Mac. Yeah. You lost to Tyson? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, knocked up. I think he's in the friend group. Yeah, sure. <laughs> strawberries. I forgot about strawberries. Cedric the Entertainer. You're good, yeah. Um, super bad. Movies, Judd Apatow movies. Joan Elf. I think I might be. I'm just looking at the listing up close again. I'm not looking at answers. Sorry, I know this sucks to listen to. What are some fruits? Uh, kiwis? Kiwis are a niche. There's no way. All right. Blueberries. Oh, so, oh God, we go through so many berries in my house now. <laughs> this is the end. Oh, no. oh was, th was oh. that not? I'm such a fuck that up. Oh. That's I was thinking Pineapple Express, but that's not Judd Apatow either, and he's Jonah Hill's probably not even in that. Myself so oh bad. yeah, what is? Th what are these five other movies? I don't know. No Let's idea. I'm just gonna stick with the fruits. Let's go watermelon. Melons? All melons? Mm-hmm. So because watermelons are an American fruit, right? Or I guess we just grow them here maybe. But. The Carter. Um, let's go with lemon. What? Lemons. Ah. Uh. Oh, live to see another day. Carter 2. Come on, Nick. I, you have I, to unseat him. I'll go the Carter 3. There you go, Nick. Bitters. Why, would, like, why wouldn't I just say bitters? Stone. You know these? I don't think I do. Stones? Fuck. No, I don't really play Catan. Catan. I'm, I think I'm out. Ah, oh, Little Wayne. I think okay. I know. Okay, I'm not done. Oh, you, you got it? No, I'm out. But, I mean, if you missed yeah, this. Yeah, I'm trying to think if mixed. It. Pineapple. Mm. That might not be it. Yes, pineapples. No. Back. Right, back in. Uh, clay. Fuck! I need. I it's, there's like weird dual names for some of these things. Oh, I think. Fuck. Okay. I'm out again. <laughs> <laughs> Say Jonah Hill movie. I can't think of any. Stupid. Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor is a... Is that a king of comedy? No. Pryor O.R. I don't, I don't know. Jesus Christ. I <laughs> keep trying to go this back to... way uh, worse than just losing. I'm going to try to go back to... I think you won already because you went first and I missed on second, so... He has to... He, no, no, no. We, we're going to change the rules just so yeah. Nick has a chance to win this. Like oxen? I know there's some sort of... Fuck! You're literally so close. <laughs> On all of these? Yeah. <laughs> what about the Battle of the Sexes? No, just say say it. Try, guess a Jonah Hill movie on there. Evander Holyfield. There you go. Uh, is, is fucking wood one of them in Settlers? So you said, what did you say, stone? Stone, clay, and, and oxen. Or, and or. you said clay, I'm pretty sure it's bricks. And you said oxen and sheep. Or wool. It is KB four in a row. Four in a row, but oh, it, it ends now. Forty-year-old virgin. Oh, funny people get into the Greek. Sheep. I didn't know Jeremy Jonah Hill was oh, in the card. Oh, the Carter fought four. Avocados and peaches. And five. Oh, 
That's yeah. That's I didn't know there were so many Carters. Oh, the block is hot. I tell people he's my favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed. Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs, James Knox Polk. All right, we're Sarah one more. We got to do knocking them off. We got to do one. Yeah, more. That, that was a was tough one. We got to do one more. That one left a terrible taste in my mouth. Disgusting. <laughs> okay, here's one again. More. Uh, read those off. One universal donor type. Two teams that played in the that were swept in the 2023 playoffs. Name of the Three Stooges, four Beatles members, five largest tech companies by market cap, six countries bordering the Red Sea, seven SEC football programs with an all-time winning percentage above 500, the most watched, uh, eight most watched Olympic sports, the top nine most used spices slash seasonings, seasonings in the United States, and Steve Carell's ten films by IMDb score, his top ten films by Damn. IMDb score. Hmm. Okay. Smartest, smartest guy in the office. Go ahead. Smartest in the office. Larry. Curly. Oh, for? oh. Curly. Clear it with Mo. Paul McCartney. Ringo Starr. R. Two R's. John Lennon. <coughs> George Harrison. Jerusalem. What? In the Red Sea, right? The countries, Kate. <laughs> oh my God. I, Jesus. Israel is what I meant, and I think everyone knows that. Because Jerusalem's on the Red Sea. Apple. Can we just put Israel? <laughs> Israel didn't come up either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Apple. That's fine. That's why I'm not on the dozen. That's fine. Google. Damn. Microsoft. What C am I thinking of? Alabama. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, KB. Alabama. Georgia. Okay, you're thinking of the Dead Sea, I believe. Oh, God damn it. The salty, yeah, that's the salty one. The Lakers. Auburn. One hundred meter dash. Oh, uh, or is it just track? Athletics. Four shit track. We don't even know how you. Track and field. Salt. Swimming. Pepper. Basketball. Gymnastics. That's the most watched, if in order. A Forty year old virgin. Despicable me. Egypt. Oregano. Oof. <laughs> Barely. Basil. Fuck. You can so, so, have to end this. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The, the way, way back. Mm -hmm. 
Soccer. Saudi Arabia. Adam Verone is up. Tennessee. Yemen. Rosemary. God damn it. Um, the big short. Fuck you, dude. Eh. South Carolina. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know the, the countries I should. No. Definitely would have been no. Oh, oh, Florida. Rica, good call. Florida, Kentucky. Ole Miss. One of the Mississippi's probably. No. Garlic powder. Shit. I just, I just no, I said fucking basil. Sudan, Spicoretria, Jabuti, LSU, god damn it. Ah. Uh. Volleyball's a lie. Tennis, volleyball, martial arts, onion powder, cinnamon, chili powder, cumin, Little Miss Sunshine, oh, yeah. Crazy Stupid Love, Beautiful Boy. I was going to say this, but we'll meet There's some mayonnaise rice. on that list. Yeah. Um, mayonnaise. It's a little too spicy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've been on a big mayonnaise kick. Oh, negative. KB, smartest guy in the office. Five in a row. I didn't say that. <laughs> Five in a row for KB. Smartest guy, strongest guy. Could do the most push-ups with claps in between them. The protocol is working. He's working. becoming mm. perfect in front of yep, our yep. eyes. Firing on all cylinders. He's texting them boys right now. In the <laughs> yeah, I love to hear. Fun. They love to hear it. They're gassing him. Gassing. He's gassing yeah, them. I ain't gassing them. They don't deserve it. You shouldn't be. Uh, you shouldn't be allowed to be close to the TV anymore. We need to. Yeah. Swing with the donut. Fine. Fine. If you're gonna be smart. You better get glasses. Nerd. Dork. Yeah, that's why. I, that's why I don't get smart because I want to call no KB a nerd. Don't always work. Smartest guy in the office. Yep. And he's yakking. Yeah. Um, uh, guys, in tomorrow? Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Is tomorrow's Friday? Yeah. Tomorrow's Friday. Okay. I don't and think I am in tomorrow actually. Sad. To going say. into a good weekend. You hitting the beach early? I'm hitting the beach early. You should. Fuck it, I'll come too. I've been trying <gasps> to invite you. Huh? I've been trying to invite you. I'm going. Hear me out. We do the show from the tube. <laughs> bay. <laughs> no. The CI in Ludlam Bay. That's Seattle City. Ludlam Bay sounds Let's great. Do it. Let's do it. Shout out to my grandma. I'm trying to get pummeled by a wave. Oh, yeah. And real sunburnt. Fuck yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Um, Hey, see you guys tomorrow. I'll see yep. you.